The action is on ice tonight because it is Thursday night and we are live with the Independent Broadcast Network as we bring you LHL Hockey, the Legends Hockey League. We thank you for joining us a little late tonight. That first game was postponed. It's been a lot of post post postponements this season. <laughs> it's not just a stutter. Some of these have just been put off and put off and put off. Uh, the first game that was going to be played tonight will instead be played next week, so maybe we'll get a little bonus action. We'll have four big games with these six big teams. But tonight we'll see four big teams and two big teams, uh, or two big games. <laughs> We're all having to go through a readjustment period. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm Winners with the One. I'm here with Ayla, and we're here to bring you whatever action is put in front of us. Because that is our mission as esports casters. Once called by one of the higher ups at Twitch TV, the nicest guy in esports. And you see where that's gotten me? Right here in the middle of. Great esports action. This hockey game called Hockey Question Mark is made by Cryptic C. The official website is hockeyquestionmark.com. But we should have a lot of fun tonight with the two games that we've got on the schedule. It's been an interesting season so far, a very close season here in the early going. This is week four. I think it still says week three on the, uh, but just ignore that. Just ignore that. We couldn't get in to, to change it. I forgot that everything is, uh, oh, it's a transitional period here at IBN. And, and this mic is getting a little noisy too. Hope you can, uh, look past that. We'll be switching it out, trying something else here before the, before the weekend. We got a big weekend coming up. First, we're going to find out where this game will be played. It looks like they are discussing that currently in the in the server that we're in. There are two uh, popular servers that they've been switching back and forth and trying to find good ping that, that is acceptable to everyone. Sometimes that is difficult to do if you know about your esports. But KS Auto looks like the decision might be up to him. One of the great players in this game, but all of Washington seems to be showing up. And I believe they will be playing Edmonton this evening in this first game of two that we're scheduled for. It's just like in wrestling, you know, you say it's scheduled for one fall, but. You never know whether, you know, the Undertaker is going to come out of nowhere. Or Randy Orton's going to RKO somebody from out the back. And it's much like that in the Legends Hockey League. But yeah, it's been a very close season so far. And, and I think, uh, you know, we, we've had several seasons recently where somebody's just, you know, there's been one team that's kind of steamrolled everybody and then made a good showing in the playoffs to, to finish it off. Or not, but this time it's it's kind of anybody's anybody's uh, playoffs and indeed anybody's finals. But I think we'll uh, may have signed an agreement to ensure that behind the scenes we will be able to cover at least the rest of this season. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy to be bringing this to you. As Edmonton is on the ice right now they will be in the red jerseys you'll be seeing such action stars as kill pestle Trev crow lewis friend sammy and luchik that is a solid lineup that they bring to the table against washington who are no slouches themselves as far as the talent that they are going to be bringing to us this evening Thus ensuring that we're going to get at least one good game out of it tonight, fam. So glad you're here to make it. The thousands of people that are watching. Kiwi saying we're not getting in until all players have tags. Thank you, Kiwi. Yeah, sometimes it's, uh, I don't know. There have been some player trades. There have been rumors of trades. 
But Washington tonight will bring Hey Bert, KS Auto, Kiwi, Resi, and Juice. A stellar assemblage of hockey question mark players. And by now, you know, all these guys have gotten really good at the game. Throughout the many seasons that we've been covering, yes, hello to you, Kiwi. He's going to be not in the net, but in, well, he'll be in front of uh, the other people's net, making trouble, no doubt, but he'll be mostly playing defense here tonight. But yeah, we're seeing defensemen kind of push up and, and do a lot of action themselves. Now a shot coming on. Hey, Bert with a quick save. Now the rebound, trying to slide this across. But it will go through the slot and out. Now around is Kill Pestle. It'll be again looking forward to the front of the net, but turning around is Rezzy. He will grab this and looking for Juice, trying to break this out. Luchik instead will come up with this puck. And he will take it around, looking for Kill Pestle deep, but it is Chaosado on the steal. And this is quickly taken away from him and the physics of the game. Sometimes uh, you get two sticks and the puck in between it and it registers it, uh, you know, s several million times or something and then it just flies off at a huge head of steam. That's always fun to watch, though. It's caused some pretty amazing things to happen throughout the years of comp competition gameplay. Now a chance, a shot, and a score by Chaos Auto! Showing that Chaos Auto form, you know, the last few times we've seen him, he, they've really been pretty effective in kind of bottling him up a little more than usual. I mean, you, maybe we're just spoiled by seeing him just kind of run wild, much like Hulkamania. we we'll continue the wrestling references, but yeah, he's he's just been a tremendous and consistent player. You can't stop him completely. You can only hope to contain him. And he gets the lead for this Washington team as we are still early on in the first period. Now across, this puck will be met by Kill Pestle. Picks it back up. But it will travel into the neutral zone. And things get physical there as popping loose. This will go to Kiwi. And he will handle it from the back. Goes ahead, dumps it in. Oh, and that long pass picked up KS Auto. Moving through, gets past one, now another. And he will just shove this into the opposite corner. Now up at the point. Rezzy fires and it goes wide. Kiwi now coming to pick it up on the other side of the point. And again, it is KS Auto seemingly everywhere already this evening as four players <laughs> converging on him. It took four to take him down, and the shot from the back will travel over the net. But good offensive pressure to start this thing early from Washington. They've really been on them tightly, but now here comes Luchik. Now watch these stick moves of Luchik. Oh, and Kill Pestle. I don't know if he saw that in time. It hits his stick and travels loose. But they still hold on to the puck in the zone, at least briefly. And now Juice will have to reach back to grab this. And now we're seeing similar pressure from Edmonton. They will dump it back in and kill Pestle. First on the scene, up to Sammy. That's coming in. Hey, Bert will make the save. Now Trev Crow will have a shot at it. He just uh, lobs one in, looking for that deflection. And we near the one minute mark of the first period. Very spirited effort from both teams so far. Now KS Auto. Across the chop in front, Juice shoots and scores! And that's just a nicely set up play. As Juice, he made sure to settle the puck down before he really went in at that. What a save there by Lewis Friend. As a rapidly sinking puck he's able to gauge it correctly and make the stop so both of these goalies have uh, made some good saves and so has hey Bert but yeah they're just 
Uh, that was a, a good individual effort by KS Auto the first time and the third time as he scores again. Rezzi on the assist. And KS Auto is in a KS Auto kind of mood as they take a 3 to nothing lead. Now trying to find one quickly before time runs out and add to this lead. Here is Juice. A bit of a move to get this away. And now dropped for Rezzi. Now KS Auto. Shot wide. And there may be time here. Luchik beautifully laid in. He shoots and also scores. Kill Pestle. A great effort to find him in traffic. And Luchik, a proven goal scorer, puts his team on the board. Uh, at least give him a nice boost going into this second period. This is a fun game so far. And so we'll see how things shake out in the second period as it begins in earnest. Rezzi over to Juice. He dropped pass here. KS Auto. Getting through the entire team, and Kiwi will finish it. What a play. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so, it is four to one. That goal at the end of the first. Quickly answered by Washington at the beginning of the second. Now here is Rezzi. Cross now Juice. We'll be looking for KS Auto, who is making a move to the net. And a chance there does not go. A lot of people in front, right there in the crease. So now coming around, this will be Rezzi's puck once again. As he gets it to qui quickly to Kiwi and himself taking it quickly to juice but now they will rewind and attempt it again as they draw from the back here is KS Auto and immediately they start going for KS Auto now, we've seen that a lot we've seen people put two three people on him what a stop by Lewis friend as dead on and in this game you know, you don't have body collisions, so sometimes those shots that go right at the goalie's chest, which would be the simplest shots in the game of ice hockey, are the most difficult in this game. <laughs> but a big difficult stop once again. As at point blank range, there was Juice firing on him. Juice and KS Auto just really putting the moves on. And they'll do it again. Now in front, moving, shooting, scoring. KS Auto with the hat trick will make it 5-1. to one. And this Washington team is really stepping it up tonight. Now here's one right off the draw. The shot, the block. Nicely kept up with there. And so Edmonton is kind of a working from a deficit now as we're about halfway through regulation time. See Waldo in the chat, what's up? You're seeing a good one here. Look at the spin Oh, it's just <laughs> It's like that, huh? Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, you fancy, huh? Yeah. Go going for a little extra there. Which they can afford to do. <laughs> They've got a bit of a lead. So it's making it interesting for the folks at home. Trying to just sneak one in. Lewis Friend again. Just shutting down that corner. And yeah, I don't think uh, people are talking about how good Lewis Friend has been enough in, the, in, in this season so far. He's really been making some great shots in the games that we have seen great saves I should say on some great shots 
throughout this early campaign where we're about you know a month in and win or lose see he keeps his team in it and now a chance juice he has to go top shelf or mama keeps the cookies to get it past Lewis friend and it is six to one yeah so but I mean he, he's making some stops in a in what is so far not looking like a winning effort but you know, he, he's doing his part he's doing his part it, it is hard to stop a, a KS auto led team with a whole head of steam like they have had here and they're looking for the kill shot here and Kiwi will do it and the GG's come out with 47 seconds left in the second period under the rules of the LHL, this game is over with the six goal mercy rule. And Washington, they just, they had blood in their eyes tonight. It was a great team effort. And a lot of KS Auto involved, but, but all these guys really participated and did their share to get this W. It's, it's, it's beautiful. That's, that's how you got to do it. We, we've, we've seen them struggle a bit early on in the games that we've seen, but no struggles tonight against a very good Edmonton team. So we'll be done with this game. And so that'll give us a, a little bit of extra time before. Okay, Kiwi, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, get your own waifus, man. I, I, everybody should have their own waifu. That, that's what the future is all about. The future is you know, every man with a waifu. Any kind of waifu you want. We're, we're in the 21st century. Traps, whatever you want. It's all good. No judgment. Now that's part of what they call the singularity. The, the future is either very bright or very grim. Uh, just kind of choose uh, you know, however you want to look at it. Right, we're, we're choosing to try to look at it in an optimistic fashion, even though shit's been pretty grim. Anyway, no reason to go into all of that. Let's see what we've got here. We'll, we'll go ahead and uh, take a break. We hope that you will stick around. We've got one more game right after this. Let's find something appropriate or inappropriate, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Of course.
Yes, the number one musical group in the world, twice. The Texas style screwed and chopped version. We figured out that uh, it seems to fool the algorithms. Because it's just a remix, right? Like the reef mix to ignition, hot and fresh, out the kitchen. Anyway, we've still got one more game. Looks like that is about to happen shortly. It is St. Louis versus Atlanta. And look at the rosters real quick to see. Who the fuck's on what teams? I can't remember. Okay, let's. Victoria. So no, that's the RSL. Okay. So at least you will have the game on the screen. Use the tags, motherfuckers. I might have to do this. I might have to have in depth knowledge of, of, of the game or no shit like that, huh? Unable to load file. Reload the damn. God. Okay, so the game is about to begin. It is the eternal struggle of red versus split. Unable, what? Okay. All right. So. <laughs> we'll just dispense with the niceties and we will just bring you the game as we view it here. <laughs> oh, man. All right, fellas. And I've seen both these teams play already, so you know, should know by now. Don't want to make any mistakes. Uh, uh, chance in front, the shot. Oh, and a save by Capital Rooney. I believe that's Capital Skis. You know, infraction, name change. We don't quibble with those. We just, we just like to know what teams are what. Right. If you're if the people that care, they'll know. So you can you got the names up there. You're only looking at the map, right? So so it's all good. Three forty eight in this first period. Neither red nor blue has scored yet. This is like a. a <laughs> One of the more uh, passive-aggressive things that uh, I tend to do as casters, you know, if, if somebody's being a douchebag, you know, we, we we have in the past, and maybe not in this game, maybe maybe so, but certainly in other games, uh, just kind of uh, I call it the Bill Parcells. Uh, you know, when he was so mad at Terrell Owens that he wouldn't even say his name. 
in the press conferences, he would just refer to him as the player. Oh, and the player right there, Dick McLamoro. And Jabba Dabba Doo on the assist, but that was just Dick McButts. Yes, a tribute to the USA women's hockey team who won last night, won the gold medal. And yeah, Lamoro was a big part of that. The score in the in the shootout, and just a a nasty deke to get that score. So a nice tribute there. I get that. Yes. Now Doug coming around with it. It will go behind Nargila. And this is crab in a tree. You'll have to forgive me for not remembering who's who, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm old, okay? I'm old. So that's the first thing to go. There's a lot going on here. But a chance front. A lot going on there. Nargila will make the save. As Dick McButts will retreat with this puck. A nice job of shielding it, using the board to propel it forward. Now the boards in hockey are like having another player out there. And these guys have gotten really adept at using them accordingly. Now this one is looking in front and Nargila seeing that and just sweeping the stick out and helping it away. And now the shot to save on the other side, Capital Rooney. And nice work from both keepers to begin this first period. As we tick down to the one minute mark, here is Dildozer. He's got some momentum, so he will keep it moving forward here. Fires it in, it will go over the net. Now coming back the other way is the red team. But yeah, there are times when we've just frozen people out, you know. So you got to be a you really step over the line or, or be a habitual line stepper for us to do just the, the player. You know, because people like to hear their names called. Oh yeah, nice score by the player. Or just... <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and that's coming from the nicest guy in esports. But Dildozer just lifts the wrister. They don't have to be high-speed shots. They just have to find their mark. And in fact, sometimes just those slow floaters are difficult to really pin down. Or even the most talented goalies. And so this game is tied. Red v. Blue, 1-1. One to one. <laughs> And, you know, for all the people who are like, well, just use the real jerseys and change the jerseys between every game. Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, I enjoy the purity of red versus blue, anyway. You know, we've talked about this, but statistically, red teams uh, win more than blue. I, I was asked, is that for real? Yeah, there was a study done. And in contests between a red team versus a blue team, uh, the study found that the red team will win 51% of the time. That's why I like to choose blue a lot of times, because, you know, you, you want to give that 49% an extra bump, right? You want to be the underdogs that, that come back. Speaking of underdogs, we're talking about the Olympics, the U.S. curling team. Have you seen this? Uh, Schuster, the, the men's uh, skip, this is a guy that he got the best result that the U.S. has ever gotten, you know, a few years back, a bronze medal. That's as good as U.S. curling has ever been able to, to turn up. But, you know, the other times it's been ninth place or 10th place. What a stop there by Nargila. Out of 10 teams, ninth place or 10th place. But they beat the Canadians last night. The, the odds-on favorites. This was a bigger upset than, than the hockey. Much bigger upset. And so now the U.S. is competing for a gold medal 
in curling. They will finish no less than silver. And so congratulations to the U.S. curling team and John Schuster for pulling off a victory that really uh, none of us saw coming. Uh, they were on a mission, and, and they played consistently well and, and win or lose. It's a, it's a nice effort. Tough season or tough uh, Olympics for Canada in curling. The women won't even get on the podium, and, and really I thought the home and rink was going to just shit stomp everybody. I mean, on paper, I mean, this is a team that won the world championships last year without even a oh, big stop by Nargila from the back. I mean, they did not drop a single game in Worlds. And just uh, brought up short under the Olympic lights. You just never know. Curling is crazy, y'all. I uh, totally suggest checking it out, though. It's a lot of fun. And Women's Worlds will come up again next month. So the curling is not yet done. But for me, that's the most entertaining part of the Olympics. It's getting up in the middle of the night, watching the games. Oh, the shot here. We'll travel off the post. We have quite a game on our hands here that we're looking at. It's been quiet as far as the scoreboard has been concerned for a good deal of this second period. But... Lots of back and forth, lots of opportunities, and these teams are both going for it. And oh, did that rattle off the front? Oh, ho, ho, ho. and the follow up not quite there, but it was hammered down. And so, legendary Trev will go back for this one. I believe that's Atlanta and Red, aren't it? I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm just uh. Mostly a human being, half man, half amazing, but the, the man half sometimes falters. But Dick McLamoro, no faltering here as he regains the lead. A nice shot, just pegging the corner. Two to one is your score. And now, wait a minute, no, I think that's St. Louis. Is it Atlanta or is it St. Louis? Who knows? Somebody knows. They're not saying because it's <laughs> it's more fun to watch me thrash around, and, and and I get that. So here is Jabo get across to BG, grabbing a tree, picking it up. I don't know. The seasons start to run together after a while, and you've done so many of this, and a big stop there. Capital Rooney standing his ground, making sure that angle is covered. Now here is Jabo on the breakout. He's got. Dick McLamoro in front of him, and he's going to take this himself. Oh, he, the last minute, it looked like he tried to shovel that across. I'm not sure if he couldn't decide between a, a pass or a shot, but it does go wide. And so now back the other way. A chance, a shot off the post! And so business picking up at the end of this second period. Both teams making... Uh, Faints and parries. That's fencing, though. That's not till the Summer Olympics. Now, here we go again. As BG will intercept this one before it can get to Dildozer. Now, fires it down. Dick McLamoro will let it go as it turns wide, hitting the ground. We go to the third period. Where's this going to go? strategy they will have to shut down the outlet passing yeah and they've done a pretty good job of that for the most part i mean uh, we're not seeing as much coast to coast stuff finding its mark as we often do but sometimes there is and there's a chance there and you know, just the the framework of the goal has been daunting for both of these teams as we've seen some good chances just being off by an inch or two. So, as we say, the third period, very important in a hockey game. As some would say the most important period of a hockey game. And I think that's very true in this case, as it's a close game, two to one. 
Now here is Dildozer. He's trying to get on the mark with Mark. But this will be poke checked away. It will start a little further back. Doug coming in. Firing. A lot of people in front. Dildozer. Still a lot of people in front. And lots of immovable objects to collide with the puck. Or they make their way in. And that's a nice defensive stop there. But, and yet another. The, the blocked shot. And Doug. Legendary Trev. Will hold this up. Gets the boards, but now here they come again. Beautifully passed in, and the shot off the post again. Oh, it's so close, and and just so beautifully put together. But the seed finds no purchase, and so back the other way. This puck is going to go now. Back at center ice. See Jabba. Turn and just uh, lay this one through. Now a race to the puck. Dildozer will be on it. Sets it up in front. Oh, and just, again, about a foot or so off the blade. And so, yeah, both, both teams getting good chances. But, I mean... And here's a similar one here. BG not able to stretch that out to to grab that puck. So now legendary trip. He's got time and room to set this up. Look for Jabba. And now crabbing a tree. They'll dump it back in. Is Trev. And everybody just uh, looking for some room and being played pretty closely. Both of these teams uh, staying on each other as we near the one minute mark. Here's Dildozer again. We'll see where he goes with this. He looks to the front. Again, lots of bodies there. Doug firing across. Traveling through the crease and out, 123. And Dildos are trying to hem this up in the corner. Doug, double teamed. Crab coming to help. He will turn and dump this in. One minute to go. Mark across in the slot. Nobody there to pick that up. Rebound attempt again, just short of the intended passers were, were looking for. Yeah, there's just uh, it's not a lot of room here. So he's about to try to play it off the boards behind him. Instead, this will travel all the way back to Nargila. And he does a good job of controlling a kind of wild puck. And he fires this in and went on net. Capital Rooney is forced to make a save. And traveling towards him, he'll make this one. Just these long rolling pucks. Now this has a chance. And grabbing a tree. Make sure that it does. 17 seconds left. We have a tie game. Atlanta, St. Louis. Red, blue. It is tied. So with 10 seconds left. Oh, here's a good chance. And he's going to go ahead and. Oh, Dick McLamoro stays with it and makes the shot. Now, Snargila made the initial stop for well, three seconds. That's going to be the game-winning goal. And, you know, they, they teach you in hockey school. Uh, if you make that initial shot, stay with it. Keep crashing the net. And good things will often happen. And so they do. So, Dick McButts. Now he's Dick McLamoro. And... Yes, thank you, Lewis friend, and thank you everybody for 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 watching that. Three two game.
Atlanta, St. Louis, a very close game. And like I said, I think these playoffs are going to be very close this season. I mean, we're still a ways away from them, obviously. Got another month or so. But we have seen that anything can happen. And I think that is more the case this season as well. So with that, I believe we are out of games. Yes? Okay. <laughs> you never know. They might be like, you know, hey, man, we have got a game we were supposed to play, and we're going to play it, but I don't think so. I think uh, instead the game that was postponed tonight is now I'm seeing on the schedule that it is scheduled for, or I saw earlier. I can't get anything to load right now. So. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. But, yeah, we should have... Uh, Four games next week, uh, failing uh, further postponements. I mean, we may get to the end of the season and just do an all-day marathon of all the games that were postponed. You know, I don't know if it's going to get to that. But speaking of marathons, we're going to be on the air this weekend. That's the plan. That is, uh, hopefully, we can carry that out. I think we will. I think we will, as it is a Weeb weekend. Here on the Independent Broadcast Network, you may have heard of the anime called Sword Art Online. Uh, it's very controversial. You know, some people think it's the best anime ever made, and some people say it's just shit. You have shit taste. You know, blah, blah. they say that about every anime, right? But but the games, some of these games are pretty good, and this game should be fun. This weekend is the release of Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. And it is a third-person shooter. It's not just a RPG. It's a shooter with RPG elements and that's my jam I like that kind of shit so so we have uh, obtained a copy of the game and it releases on Friday so probably starting Saturday or late Friday night depending on uh, when we get in and how messed up we are or whatever but but we're going to be here on the independent broadcast network playing uh, Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet and, and giving you the first look at this uh, weeb masterpiece. There's lots of hot waifus in it, and, and you can uh, romance them. And there's pillow talks, so, so that should be fun. We'll figure out which waifus we like the best and, and build up our uh, affection meters. And, but yeah, it has, uh, it has a, a grappling hook, and I like games with a grappling hook. And it also has a, a banking system. You can... Uh, invest your money that you make playing the game or, or or send your AI waifu to go shopping for you and pick up things that, that you want, guns and stuff. So that sounds interesting. Yeah, so, so we'll check it out. And then the weekend after that, uh, Peach Beach Splash is coming out. So we'll be getting in on some of that as well. But one weekend at a time, right? We're going to get things set up a little better here. As far as uh, you know, a different microphone, for one thing. This thing's just noisy as hell right now. And uh, we'll just uh, weeb out. And the, it should be good times. We'll fire up some of the, the new systems that we have in place here at the Intermittent Broadcast Network. Should be a lot of fun. You can follow us on IBN Casting, which we will update, we promise, when we do go live. If you follow this channel, you can set up notifications where it will tell you when we go live we encourage you to do that yeah the more follows we get the better and uh wow there are people already going into rainbow six siege after this game maybe we'll check that game out i don't know i, I have not yet but i hear it's good there, there there's so many games right now that are that are worth playing it's not as terrible as it's been in the gaming world so yeah, follow us on Twitter, IBN Casting, Winners with the One, IBN Ayla. And follow us on YouTube, IBN Casting. We will be putting these games up so you can peruse them at any time you want through video on demand. It's also on your phone. Did you know you can watch YouTube on your phone? Yeah, you can. We were talking about the uh, what a time to be alive, right? It's, it's the fucking future, and we're doing our best to embrace it here on IBN. So from all of us, myself, Ayla, I'm Winners with the One, 
And yeah, we hope you will be here this weekend for, for Sword Art Online, Fatal Bullet. We, we can't just give you hockey all the time. We, we have to give you weird Japanese things. It's not the weirdest Japanese thing we've given you, but it should be fun. I love shooters. I need to get back to shooters. But, yeah, check it out, and hopefully we will see you sometime very, very soon. Like, like then, or maybe before. No promises, no guarantees, but we're always happy for the time that we do get to spend with you. We love you. We'll see you next time, whenever that may be. Good night. Night.